and welcome back to another studio vlog. So this week I am setting myself a bit of a challenge and the challenge is to design 20 new planner sticker sheets. I know, 20. So I really want to do this because I've got so many ideas for stickers in my head and I really just want to get on and get them done. So I thought, right, let's really hyper focus this week and design a bunch. So let's like see how I get on basically. Um, I started last night to design a few, which I did have a few problems with actually, which I'll show you in a second. But it's going to be quite a big challenge and probably a lot more work than I actually imagine. Um, yesterday I started thinking, oh, it's 20 too low. But anyway, we'll see how we get on. So let's crack on. Right everyone, challenge update, 3 p.m. Not going well at all. So, as I said, I was struggling a bit with the hearts. I thought, I'll just leave them and come back to them. So I picked up on these tabs that um, I was working on for ages and ages ago and haven't really done anything else with them. I mean, trying them out in my planner and they're pretty durable and useful. So um, I wanted to make them up. Basically, I had them pretty much ready to cut. Um, but um, for the cricket, um, which is a different way of setting things up than I've set things up for the silhouette. So classic me, I just try to sort of like cut corners and amend the sort of little cricket setup design. Anyway, this does not work at all. Basically, I thought I was about done with them, and then the the months had actually slipped down. I don't know how uh, I was doing. It's all a mess. So. Th that's been a total waste of time <laughs> and super annoying. Um, so yeah, I'd say 3 p.m. on Wednesday, and well, half past three actually, and uh, we've got one sticker sheet designed out of 20. So now 
I'm just gonna leave the monster tabs aside because I'm kind of sick of them and I am going to now look at another surprise surprise half finished design that I was working on ages ago this is why I needed this challenge to actually get me to finish stuff off which was um these which you may remember from ages ago when I was experimenting and I want to do some like planner flags and things like that so I think I might have a look at, at doing these next but I'm not going to make the same mistake again and try to just use an old design because again I originally cut this with the Cricut and I was setting things up a lot differently so um yeah let's uh, let's get back to it and hopefully get more than one sheet done today Good morning everyone, or good afternoon. It is it's after one, so I guess it's, oh, it's bang on one o'clock on Thursday. Um, so, update on the design challenge. So, I actually finished up designing these last night, which I'm really pleased with. I think the colors are really nice and I really like this um, little sort of setup, flags and etc. Sorry, I'm absolutely, I'm not going to lie, I'm shattered today. There's a storm going on and it was very loud last night. You could hear things moving about in the garden, which is always a bit unnerving, isn't it, when you're trying to sleep? Anyway, um, <laughs> my moaning aside, um, yeah, I am pretty happy with these. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make these in a couple of different colours. This morning, I also started looking at some of the things I designed yesterday and... I just feel like there's maybe something missing from this and I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it's making me a bit, I feel a bit weird just designing something which is quite repetitive because I'm not used to doing that um, or what but and also then not wasn't sure about the colours of this anymore. So but what I'm going to do is I don't want to get bogged down in like stressing about individual colours so I think at the end when I've got all of my sheets done, I'm going to put all of them together, including the ones that I've got now, and then check all of the colours and work out if things are all like gelling together <laughs> in a way that I want them to, I think is what I'm going to do. So next I need to, um, I just need to edit this because it's not in the middle and there's a couple of things um, that I want to change about it, and I'm going to look at maybe putting this into some other colours as well. Um, but it's really cute. I absolutely love it. Like, oh, I love it. Love it so much. I love these like little um, circles and stuff. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to do this in a couple of different colours. 
um and then decide what i'll do after that <laughs> great these look and and these <laughs> I am so happy with how these have turned out It's now a Tuesday. I own the home straight, the final day of the challenge. A lot has gone down over the weekend. I haven't filmed very much of it, so let me catch you up. I also can't remember <laughs> what I've even filmed at this point and posted. I have been posting on TikTok and Instagram about this and keeping you updated, but let me catch you up with where we're at right now with this challenge. So we are really are on the home straight with these now. Um, we've had a few hiccups and disasters along the way. But what I'm working towards creating is having series of stickers that sort of all nicely match in together. Like this is the Rose Quartz series which matches in with the Rose Quartz notebook. Down here is the Topaz series. Um, I finally sorted out the hearts. We're going to go for white lines around the edges rather than an internal cut. Um, but we've got these little planner stickers. These are like, I think my 100% my favourite things I've designed so far. Um, these little tabs are just so cute. Um, and then down here, like the purple range as well. 
Um, so these I created and I was really pleased with them and I was actually trying them out in my planner over the weekend and they worked really well. So I'm going to create those in Topaz and Rose Quartz as well. Things that haven't maybe gone quite so well is this actually silhouette for the first time in its life had a bit of a, a glitch and actually cut these sheets wrong on Saturday. I think it's probably as tired as I was to be honest by Saturday evening. Um, so this wasn't quite working for me. I did talk about this a couple of weeks ago actually in a studio vlog and I think it's the colours actually behind these. So I'm going to try this out with a few different colours and again use this palette or um, and this palette as well um, and put something together. The other ones that just <laughs> I'm still struggling with a bit are the moon stickers. So this is the redesign of the original moon stickers that we designed in the first ever studio vlog. I'm just grabbing them, um, which are here. So if you remember, I got these sent out to another sticker maker to make these for me. And I did really struggle them with the colours. And I think with these, I was just quite lucky that the colours turned out as nice as they did. Um, I wanted to redesign them and print them here and um, change them up a little bit and include more things like um, things that you could use like in your journal to actually prompt because I've learned a lot about moon journaling since since I actually originally made them. These again, these were part of the batch that I've caught off cut off cut off cut um as you can see it's just a bit of a mess really um i tried out here i was just printing a couple of samples of different moon colors and i'm just still not happy with any of them i'm just not sure what to do for colors really um i kind of haven't really nailed that one other ones that didn't work out quite so well um were these numbers um for these numbers, yeah, these didn't turn out quite so well. So I designed these and I just felt like they were a bit big and I couldn't really get them sort of small enough for the planners. And I also had quite a lot of space that wasn't being used, but they're not enough really to do anything from with. So I wasn't really pleased with how they turned out. They also all part of the batch that off cut. Um, so they were sort of back to the drawing board really. Um, I also just wanted to show you these, which um, are some stickers that I actually made for my mum for Mother's Day, um, for her planner, and some of them I think I might turn into, um, or change them a bit and turn them actually into uh, planner stickers for sale as well. So the first ones that I made for her were these like really cute coffee cups, as you can see she's already used some of them. We do enjoy our Costa, so um, well, obviously once cafes and stuff are back open but yeah i thought these are just so cute these little um takeaway coffee cups i wouldn't obviously make these with costa written on them because that would probably be a trademark infringement or something but um anyway what else did i make her so some some nail ones so part of her mother's day gift is we're gonna go and get our nails done one of the things we've learned from like studio vlogs our hands are in it quite a lot and we're always be like oh my god our nails are bad um so i'm gonna take her to get her nails done obviously when they all reopen so i also made her some little nail varnishes and some little shopping bags shopping days with rebecca so um we can plan out our shopping for the future we love going shopping together it is one of our like favorite things to do um hopefully if there are any actual shops open on the high street here in the uk so many big um high street retailers have sadly gone under um recently so or have like closed loads of their stores and it's such a shame because shopping is such a fun experience i just you know i'm Despite the fact that I have an online business, um, I much prefer, certainly for clothes shopping stuff like that, actually shopping in person. Um, I just I love everything about going out shopping. Anyway, bit of a detour. Um, so I'm thinking I might turn these into a sheet as well. And last night I was doing some doodling on the iPad um, and just having a bit of a play around with potential things. So let me show you those. So you don't get much more basic kind of behind the scenes than this. This is basically a doodle page I created in Procreate and I just started to doodle some like fun ideas that I could maybe do 
um, and I created this um, based on the um, Starbucks um, is it unicorn frappe that was kind of going mad on Instagram maybe last summer. I've never actually had one, but they look really pretty. Oh god, it's drawn all over this. Um, and then up here. I drew out this little sort of caramel frappuccino type thing. Um, so, yeah. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with those. Um, there were just sort of illustrations and doodles that I was doing literally last night watching TV, kind of just have my iPad there, um, was just doodling away and kind of thought of, I'd have a go at drawing them. Um, it's obviously my usual style and... Uh, Although, it's always a difficult balance, I think, when you're trying to design things because you want to stick to a style and you want to be consistent because your style is where you are, you know, that's your uniqueness, that's what people are used to seeing from you and, you know, you have to, you want to be designing, making things that people like and that's, you know, that's important. On the other hand, I'm always a bit sort of... I don't want to be too so constrained that I only ever do the same thing and I think it's also really important to let kind of creativity guide you and sort of do things which you know if you enjoy doing something that's also important and if it kind of feels good then to make something or to draw something then that's also important too so it's I think it's a bit of a balance between always sticking to the same thing and sort of really being rigid in your style or trying out something different and there's definitely a balance between the two. I don't know if I'm kind of explaining this properly. If there are any other designers out there who I hope are watching this, like drop me a comment below and let me know what you think and because I'm sure I know that this is something that we all kind of go through is is that you want to be consistent but you also want to try new things so let me know in the comments below if any of this is sort of resonating with you um, and let's kind of share our experiences but I think I will have a go at doing maybe one sheet of the kind of coffee cups because I think they are really cute and they could be useful for planners I might have a look at the colours that I use in them and make them quite lined up with um the colour palettes that we're currently using in the notebooks and stuff just so that they all sort of fit properly um but yes that's where we're up to so in conclusion so far we are at 14 sticker sheets designed i've got the two other checklists in the different colours and i'm also going to look at ooh, these quotes in different colours and the coffee cups so checklist quotes coffee cups i want to do some sort of water tracker and a little design of freebie stickers um to go in with orders um you'll remember i think it was last week i was trying to design like a freebie sticker but then i wasn't sure if people would know what it was so um Lynn came up with the idea of doing a small square sticker, like a rather than a die cut, like, um, like a little mini sheet, um, to put in with like freebie stickers kind of printed at the top, which is such a better idea. So we're going to do that. So that should take us to our twenty today. I've got to get that all done today. Um, so a lot of it should be relatively easy because it's just kind of changing colours on a couple of them um, and deciding what to do about the coffee cups which I've already done some work on so it's really just a case of pulling stuff together. And test printing it, test cutting it, oops, and then designing these freebie stickers and then editing this studio vlog and getting it up on YouTube. So there is a lot to do today. Um, but it's exciting, it's exciting. I feel like we're on the home stretch now and at this point, apologies if I haven't shown you enough like behind the scenes because I completely lost track of what I filmed. And yeah, so let's get on, let's get through these designs and let's hit the target. Yes. Um, a lot of enthusiasm today. Gotta keep the energy.
Right, so these have turned out really well. So we've got some pink checklist dots to go with those. We've got some lovely topaz ones. Oh, look at them all lined up. They look so good. And um, we've also got these quote sheets. I'm really pleased with how these have come out, actually. Um, I think this one could do with being ever slightly brightening up um, on the colours. Um, also, can you see that? I don't know what's happened to the possible, but anyway, must have been a weird quirk. Um, I think I might need to darken this one up, but I think that's really nice. Um, I think, yeah, I'm pretty happy with those. So that would just quickly show you how those quotes sort of fit into the planners. I haven't stuck this on very square at all, but there's a section here for quote for the week, and I had some other stickers that I designed to go in there, but I also felt that they were always a bit too big. So when I redesigned them, I wanted them to be um, wide enough so that they wouldn't take up any more space than that. So I stuck this on terribly, but um, they look really nice in the quote for the week section. The checklists as well have been designed so that they fit perfectly in these gaps as well. So if you do have one of um, our planners, they're all designed to work. And of course they work in other things as well, but um, I've made sure that they work in these ones. So I've just finished up now designing the coffee cups that I was working on last night. Well, the, yeah, coffee cups, sort of frappes actually. Frappes? Yeah, frappuccinos. <laughs> Um, anyway, they are looking really nice, so let me show you. So this is them on my screen. I've laid them out here on a little sheet and we've done some really cute coffee and adventure and a couple of quotes. I might do another row of them like smaller or maybe change the colours, um, but I'm going to print this and then see how big the um, coffees are and then how, how they look in the planners first. Um, so yeah, I think they look really nice though. I'm really pleased with them. I know it's a bit different to what I normally do, but I think I've made them, I, I had fun doing them, so I'm just gonna put them out there and I think, just see what you guys think. And um, it might be the last ones I ever do in this style, or I might start doing other icons and stuff like that, but they're a bit fun, they're nice and colorful and, um, I think they kind of fit with the fit with a nice kind of coffee theme. So yeah. So combined with these ones, um, that are gonna be slightly different. Let's get them all back again. That I showed you earlier. We're gonna make ooh, these. Sorry about that. Um we aren't gonna put the Costa logo on them. Um combined with these, that actually takes us to 20, 20 sticker sheets. So they're about there. Everything I think now I need to go back through and just make sure that it all works. There's a couple of things that I just want to change with a few of the sticker sheets. Slight tweaks on colours and then make sure all the bands are the same at the top. I'm a bit disappointed that we didn't get to the, well I mean I might still have time for the Luna stickers this week um, but I really just don't know what to do with them in regards to colours so I feel like I kind of just need to go back to the drawing board with them. So yeah, I've, I'm pretty much there with the 20 sheets. Um, I can't believe I've actually managed to do it. Well, sort of. I mean, actually I've kind of ended up designing over 20 because <laughs> I made the numbers and I did the tabs, but the tabs didn't work out, the numbers didn't work out. So I actually designed more than 20, but I've got actually 20 here which are gonna work um, as sheets. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased. I think in the future, it's good to set yourself a little sprint challenge <laughs> like this, but doing it over a week when you're trying to fit it in with everything else all of the other day-to-day -day orders and, and stuff like that um is tricky so i think in future i'll probably set myself like a shorter design challenge like a smaller challenge but like say over three days that um maybe feels a bit manageable um, and maybe work a bit a bit better i think if i'd probably set myself a challenge of like 10 sticker sheets maybe over like three days and that was including a weekend that might have worked a bit better but it has been good because it sort of pushed me um to think of different things um and just kind of work with that. i had this massive studio of stickers that i wanted to do and actually go right okay i'm going to do them and 
designer load so it has been kind of good for that and just getting to getting more used to uh, working with the silhouette and the silhouette software um kind of getting to grips a bit more with that so yeah i would thoroughly recommend a little setting yourself a little design challenge if you're a fellow designer um let me know in the comments below if you fancy setting yourself one um and let me know which stickers are your favorites so the next thing for me to do is to go off with these now get them photographed and ready for sale on the website so that should be um probably towards the end of this week or over the weekend and yeah this and then edit the studio vlog and get it up on youtube which we've got to do this afternoon after we've been to the post office so yeah still all go so thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it um we're just doing something a bit different this week and let me know which your favorite stickers are and let me know if you plan to do your own little design challenge let me know in the comments uh, what you plan to do so thank you so much again for watching and i'll see you all next week